Wealth of the Nations by Adam Smith. Yes. You know, I did spend quite a bit of time reading this book. Yes. It seems that some of the founding fathers, right, um, they had some concerns. And I, I thought that I should look at this because, um, see, uh, there's this idea of the military. Yes. The soldiers of a standing army, though they may never have seen an enemy yet, have frequently appeared to possess all the courage of veteran troops. <laughs> and the very moment that they took the field, they have been fit to face the hardy, hardiest and most experienced veterans. <laughs> 1756, when the Russian army marched into Poland, the Valor mm -hmm, of the Russian soldiers did not appear inferior to that of the Prussians. Yes. Now, it's a possibility that I'm actual descendant of the Prussians. Could have contributed some money to the United States Treasury during the Revolutionary War. Yeah. Had to be a direct descendant of the Prussians uh, to be able to have control of the United States Treasury. Yes. Where generals and admirals would kind of have to ask me, well, we need X number of thousands of new tanks that we'd like to spend in hundred billion dollars. And I'd say, well, you haven't used the old ones yet. Why don't you fix those up? Now, for every general and admiral of the United States military that doesn't like the idea of having to have to work with me, I'm one of these that would look at exactly who you're buying your shit from right now. General Miley, poop. Why don't you get me all your contacts? They, oh, well, you only work with Masons. That's such a smiley there. Now, when a civilized nation known as the United States of America depends for its defense uh, upon a militia, yeah, it is at all times exposed to be conquered by any barbarous nation which happens to be in the neighborhood. Yes. This is something that we as a nation do not need a well-regulated standing army. Yes. But the problem is Adam Smith said that... Um, these militias, yes, they, they're only there on the weekends. No, yeah. One weekend a month, a little different than a standing army. Yes. Because uh, he gives this example of why it is so important to have a military. Yes. Um, well, the, he, because he does, he actually talks about it. <laughs> why we do need an army, navy, air force, and marines. Yes. And I said we didn't need a National Guard that doesn't enforce civil rights and allows for the crime and fraud of child abduction and kidnapping. Isn't that right, Washington State National Guard? <laughs> well, you just will not enforce the civil rights of American citizens, even though you are under the direct, uh, well, governors of each and every state. You decided that you didn't need National Guards. Yes. Now, um, this... It, well, it says here, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. the many different causes contributed to the relax of the discipline of the Roman armies. Oh, its extreme severity uh, was perhaps one of those causes. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. In the days of their grandeur, when no enemy appeared capable of opposing them, mm -hmm, their heavy armor was laid aside as unnecessarily burdensome. The laborious uh, exercises were neglected as unnecessarily toilsome. As if being in the army, you didn't need to run. Now, um, it, he goes into this example of the militia. It must be several successive campaigns. Soldiers obey the officers. Oh, here it is. Mm -hmm. Uh, this militia, yes, yes, yes. Uh, the soldiers who are exercised only once a week or once a month for the National Guards, yes, can never be so expert in the use of their arms as those who are exercised every day or every other day. And through this circumstance may not be of so much consequence in modern as it was in ancient times. <laughs> Yet the acknowledged superiority of the Perusian troops, <laughs> some of those that I came from, from the Lithuanian Poland, <laughs> Owing it is said very much to their superior expertness in their exercise. <laughs> Somehow I think that America's military is really not. Well, let's say, okay, you're in the Army, Navy, Air Force, and Marines, and you think, well, we don't really need to do all these exercises every day. <laughs> Well, you could join the National Guard of each and every state. You could just quit the everyday military. Why don't you just quit? <laughs> I'm sure they'd allow you to transfer over to the National Guards in each and every state where those soldiers are only bound to obey their officers uh, once every month. Isn't that right? Yes. 
the weekend warriors that um, train two weeks every year. Yes, we spend X number of billions of dollars on them. They're absolutely necessary. My thought is they're not, pooch. So why don't you just fucking quit the real military, you piece of shit, and join the National Guard? Because they can't 